So you're looking to run your own Arc Survival Evolved server, and you're wondering how you can get into it and how you can set it up. In this video, we're gonna go over everything you need to know to get your Arc Survival server set up and running. So let's get into it. So before we begin, you need to make a decision between these two. The first is you decide to host your own Arc Survival server on your computer. The alternative to this would be instead of renting a server and having your Arc Survival server on that. Now, obviously, if you have an absolute beast of a computer and you don't mind leaving it on 24 seven, then obviously doing it on your own computer is completely fine. However, you may wanna look into having somebody host this server for you otherwise. Hosting your own server on your own computer can obviously lead to issues and performance issues with that computer. Your server would eat up a lot of the RAM available. It would need to be left on 24 seven, as I mentioned, and you can see some drops in performance on your computer. So in most cases, I would say almost 90 or 99% of cases, it's better to have somebody host that server for you. By hosting your Arc server on a dedicated server, specifically a Racknerd server, you benefit from 99.999% uptime on that server. Not to mention your own computer will not have to host that server, meaning you're not gonna lag, you're not gonna have performance issues, your RAM is gonna be more free, Etc. The reason why we have a more than 99% uptime guarantee is because we actually have a network blend that is made of different ISPs. What that means is if you have an ISP in your area go down, say AT&T, then all that's gonna happen is your Arc server is going to switch over to another ISP and it's immediately going to still run your server. It's gonna flip your server over to the other ISP and you're gonna be good to go. You're not gonna have any downtime whatsoever. So a resilient network blend of ISPs is really crucial if you don't want your server to have any downtime. What are the requirements to run an Arc dedicated server? Well, technically four gigabytes of RAM. However, the recommended amount is up to eight gigabytes now, and that'll let you have a smooth gaming experience. Well, if you anticipate having a lot more people on that server, say close to the full capacity, even possibly half capacity, you may wanna up that RAM even more from eight gigs to maybe 16, 32 gigs. Doing that will obviously allow a lot more people to play on the server and keep that game running smoothly. Additionally, we highly recommend that you run your Arc server on a dedicated server platform that actually uses SSDs or NVMe storage. This means that it would be even faster. It is much faster than normal spinning drive and would overall create a better experience for your player. For the purposes of running an Arc dedicated server, we recommend getting a dedicated server installed with Windows Server 2016. From there, you'll be able to connect to that dedicated server via remote desktop connection and configure the server. If you're interested in obtaining one of these dedicated servers for Arc Survival Evolved, you can check out rackner.com. And if you need help, send us an email at sales at and we'd be happy to tailor a solution around your needs. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.